Only 1 out of 10 SAT students got this triangle problem right. Can you solve this? We are have a large right-angled triangle. Inside this triangle, three squares are perfectly nestled side by side. Each one touching the triangle's base and the hypotenuse like this. Area of this small green square is four square units. Next to it there is blue square whose area is nine square units. And our goal is to find the area of this large yellow square. Take a moment to think about it. Pause the video if you want to try solving it on your own and then come back to check your answer. All right, let's walk through the solution together. But before we start, let's quickly recap the properties of a square related to its area. We know that the area of any square is given by the square of its side, and the length of each side can be found by taking the square root of the area. Now let's start from this smallest green square. Area of this small square is 4, which means each side of this must be the square root of 4, that is 2 units. Now look at the, this middle square. Its area is 9, so each side is the square root of 9, that is 3 units. Now if this is of length 3 units, and this is of length 2 units, then this remaining side length must be equal to 3 minus 2, which is 1 unit. Let's label that part as 1 unit and update our figure accordingly. Now consider these two red right angled triangles formed around the squares. These two triangles share same angles and are right angles triangles. That means they are similar triangles. Let's call the unknown height of this large triangle x. Now from the similarity of triangles, we can write a proportion as x over 1 equals 3 over 2. Now by using cross multiplication, we get x equals 3 times 2, which is 1.5. So x equals 1.5 units, which means unknown height of this large triangle is 1.5 units. We already knew the side length of this middle square, which is 3. Now if the extra height next to it is 1.5, then the side length of the largest square must be 3 plus 1.5, which equals 4.5. So the area of this square will be square of 4.5, which is 20.25 square units. And there you have it. The area of the largest square is 20.25 square units, and that's our answer. But wait, before you go, I have one more challenge for you. Can you find the area of this largest square in terms of x and y instead of numbers? Think it through and drop your answer in the comments below. If you enjoyed this explanation and learned something new, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and make sure to subscribe for more brain-teasing math questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.